Okay, uh, let's get on with question number five. The question five asks for what, how do you find the range of a function algebraically? Uh, and the function is y is equal to x plus five over x minus five. So question five, find the range of y is equals to x plus 5 or x minus 2. So first of all, what is the range? So the range of a function is all the values the function can take without it being non-real or non-solvable. Um, in this case, the range of this function would be all the possible values of y. So we're trying to find trying to find all possible values that y can take. Okay. Uh, similarly, even though this question does not ask for it, I will just briefly touch upon it. If we were to ask for the domain, the domain would be all possible values which x can take. So in this case, we're not being asked for it, but that's how we define the domain. So in this case, the way we would be able to find out um, all possible values for y is you would have to solve for x. So I'll show you why we do that in just a second, but let's first solve for x. So the way we would do that is we would cross multiply the denominator, the, the left-hand side, is equals to x plus 5. So y x minus 2y is equals to x plus 5. Um, this goes to the other side. x becomes common. x 1. Sorry. x of y minus 1 minus 2y is equals to 5. x is equals to 5 plus 2y over y minus 1. Okay, so the way we solve for y is first we uh, took the numerator or the denominator of the initial equation. So we took this and we cross multiplied it to the other side. After that, we opened the bracket and we solved for uh, the final expression. After solving for that, we took the x to the other side and when we took the negative two to the other side. Uh, once we took the x to the other side, we actually saw that we have the term yx and negative x on the same side. So we can extract x to be the common term, com2, and we are left with x times y minus 1. After that, the final step was to send y minus 1 back to the denominator on the right-hand side. Okay. So now that we have solved for uh, y or y in terms of x, uh, we can say that just by looking at this, we know that x is defined for all values of y, but for y equal to 1. Because when y equals to 1, this term becomes 0, and any number by divided by 0 is indefined, so that would be a problem. So we can say that y cannot be equal to 1. Okay? And that is the only number which would pose a problem. All of the numbers are um, part of the range, whereas y equal to 1 is not part of the range. Okay, so therefore, the range of the function y is equals to x plus 5 
over x minus 2 is uh, we have to be a bit careful with the notation here so the way we express range is y belongs to a subset the subset would be from negative infinity to 1 or sorry negative 1 actually it will be one negative infinity to 1 union 1 to infinity okay so y would belong to this subset it's very important to note that the the curly bracket or the normal bracket in this case represents not included If it was a square bracket, we would say included. So since we have used a, a normal bracket, it means that one is not included in the range. Therefore, y belongs to a range negative infinity to one union one to infinity, positive infinity. Okay, let's verify the solution. To find the range, we must be able to algebraically inverse the function and we get this, which is perfect. We got that as well. In this expression, the value of x becomes undefined when y equals 1, but the perfect. Okay, okay. Okay.